Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to share a card using the Clearly Besotted Balloon Bunch Treats set. This is such an adorable and fun set that has critters, ice cream, and balloons. It's fun for birthdays and other celebratory occasions. I'm going to use this stamp set today to create a scene with a lot of bright rainbow colors and even some sprinkles. So we're gonna take the images from the stamp set and I'm gonna use our Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink to ink them up. We're gonna stamp onto Simon's 120 pound white cardstock and I'm stamping first with the large ice cream image. I'm stamping this across the bottom portion of my card panel that's an A2 size to create a little border of color. Because I'm stamping this twice and the images didn't totally connect in certain spots, I'm just going to fill that in with a Copic Safe marker to create the illusion that they are connected. For the images of the critters and the balloons, I'm using the same ink and I'm stamping on the same cardstock and I'll color these separately. The border is going to get colored with a bunch of fun bright rainbow colors and there's going to be chocolate involved throughout this project. So I picked out some E markers that I thought would really look good for the chocolate colors and then there's rainbows throughout the entire project as far as color choices go. And if you're interested in the colors that I used, I do have them linked below in the video description or over on our blog so you can check that out. For some of the ones that I wanted to look more like vanilla, I picked out a light E marker that would give me the shading for a vanilla like cake or ice cream. For the coloring, I'm trying to maintain a really light area on each image. That way it gives it dimension. That highlight adds a little bit more depth to the image and gives it the illusion of being dimensional. As I'm coloring, I'm also trying to keep in mind where my images might be placed on this card because I don't want too many images of the same color clustered in one area. Because these balloons and critters are going to be across the entire card, I wanna make sure that that balances out nicely. And to make sure that there's no competing colors, I'm using just neutrals to color in the critters themselves. So I use light grays and dark ones for the bear. And then for the kitty, he's a light brownish gray with the warm markers, and I just added some little spots of color. So on some Gina K masking paper, I've already stamped the border image onto that masking paper twice and I've cut it out. So that way I can cover up my stamping and coloring so it doesn't get anything on it as I do some ink blending over top. I picked out three shades of Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks in Bubblegum, Lemonade, and then finally Seafoam. This is gonna create a nice pop of color behind these ice creams and it's also gonna tie in the colors that I've used throughout the project. At first I thought it was just gonna have an ink blended background but later on I will add some stenciling. Once my ink blending is complete, then I can carefully take the masks off and set them aside for another project. Here's where I decided to add some fun sprinkles. I picked out this really cool glitter paste from Brutus Monroe. It's a clear sparkle with sprinkles inside. Now you could just put some glue down and cover the ice creams with sprinkles, but I really liked the clear sparkle that this provided. So I'm carefully taking a paintbrush and I'm applying that paste onto my ice creams in different sections and I'm dropping some of those sprinkles from the paste into it. What will happen is when this paste dries, it will hold those cute little sprinkles in place so they won't fall off and it's going to add some great sparkle and interest to these ice creams by having those dimensional sprinkles. So much fun. I did this on the border and also some of the balloons. Okay, here's where I decided I wanted to add a little bit of stenciling. Because I already have this paste on here, it's a little bit dimensional, this has dried, but this is dimensional here with all those sprinkles. So I'm really making sure to tape this stencil down so it doesn't move on me. And I'm going to then go back over top of my ink blending with those same three colors of ink to just to create a tone on tone stenciling with those little dots. This is a really fun dot stencil from Simon Says Stamp. And I think it just adds a little bit of interest to the background without distracting from the rest of the card. I mean, how fun is that? I picked out one of the greetings from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp this down onto my card with intense black ink from Simon Says Stamp. I did trim this card panel down just a little bit so it's slightly smaller than an A2 size card. And here's where I'm going to add my little critters. I used foam tape on the back of all of these so that way I could have some dimension here and I think this is just the cutest thing ever. I love these critters. And their fun ice cream balloons are so unexpected, but such a delightful way to add some interest to your card. 
Finally, I pulled in a few of our Simon Says Stamp sequins. This is a really fun, colorful mix that I thought would look nice with the colors that I used here. And I'm using our Place and Pierce tool to help me get those sequins placed down onto my card. And I just used glossy accents to attach them. That glossy accents I also used to cover the little cherries that are on top of our ice creams. And that's gonna do it. I mean, how adorable is this card? I love those sprinkles, they're giant and fun. And the sparkle that was added by using that paste created such a really fun effect. I hope you were inspired by this card project. Be sure to check out the links below in the video description or over on our blog so you can see more still pictures and further details about this project. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.